Hello guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, we are going to talk about what is Java used for. And we are also going to discuss what is Java, why software developers love Java, what are different applications of this programming language, and how can you start your career in Java. So let's get started. So first we are going to talk about what is Java. So Java is a programming language it's a high level programming language owned by Sun Microsystems. It is also open source. It has been in demand for many, many years now. Java was designed by James Gosling in 1995. It has evolved a lot. And since then, it's being used in a wide range of applications. Java also continues to be the third most popular language worldwide amongst software developers. What makes Java a favorite choice? So the first reason is Java is portable, which means that you can write code on one platform and you can run it on different platforms at once. Java offers features like servlets, struts, spring, hibernate, and GSP. Using these technologies, Java developers can build dynamic web applications. Java also has features like JavaFX and Swing. Java offers popular frameworks like Spring, Struts, and JSF. These frameworks speed up the process of development and save a lot of time for developers. So this is why people love Java and make them a favorite choice. Let's talk about how Java works. So Java programs are typically written in .java files and this is given as an input to the compiler. Compiler is a tool which converts the same code to the machine level code which is nothing but a byte code in a dot .class file. Now this byte code is consisting of a dot .class file and this class file is then passed to the JVM who is responsible for executing this file. Now JVM is an interpreter which executes this Java bytecode. JVM loads the dot .class file and shows the output over here. So this is nothing but how Java works. Now let's talk about some of the applications of Java. So the first application is desktop based application which consists of graphic user interface. Now Java offers libraries like JavaFX, Swing, which can be used to build Java-based dynamic desktop applications. Only Swing was used earlier until past few years, but then Java introduced JavaFX, which is more advanced than Swing. JavaFX offers a great UI kit and features to add media control, UI control in your Java application. It also uses FXML, which is HTML-like and can be used to define interfaces of the application. So IDEs like NetBeans, Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA are built using Java. To start building desktop applications, you should be well-versed with Code Java. So this is about the graph. So this is about the desktop applications. Now let's talk about the dynamic web applications. So Java also allows developers to create web-based dynamic applications. So technologies like HTML, CSS are typically used to design web pages. These web pages work on web browser, but you need a server side scripting language or a technology that can handle the job of server related tasks. And this is where server side scripting languages like servlets, spring come into picture. So Java offers features like servlets, springs, struts, hibernate, JSP. These are used to build dynamic web applications that run in browsers. Frameworks like Spring and Spring Boot simplify the life of developers. They provide faster and efficient way to build web application by reducing the effort of developer. Java also offers a templating engine like Thymeleaf which is an open source library that is used to write server-side Java templates. And these templates 
can access Java objects and generate HTML code on the fly that can be rendered in the browser. Large banks like Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Standard Chartered, Barclays use Java. They have lots of their backend, frontend trading systems, data processing modules, settlement and confirmation systems written in Java. So Java is indeed used over there. The next use case, the next use case of Java would be mobile applications. So Android, the world's most popular mobile based operating system is also developed using Java. Android applications are mostly written in Java using Android SDK, which is also Java based. They consume Android APIs on devices which are developed in Java. As of May 2021, there Android had over 3 billion active devices across the world. Apps like Spotify, Tinder, Opera Mini Browser are all popular applications built using Java as a platform. And these applications are popular on Android mobile phones. So Android and iOS are most popular mobile based operating system, but low end phone like Nokia, Samsung still power these J2ME platform, which is based on Java and apps that run on these platforms are also built using Java. So to give you an example, WhatsApp, the world's most popular application is also available on J2ME platform for users and users can install and chat with their loved ones on J2ME phone using WhatsApp. So that's Java for mobile. Now Java can also be used for writing backend and web application servers. So Java has lots of backend uh, web servers that are quite popular like Apache Tomcat. They, they also have uh, application servers like JBoss, WebLogic and WebSphere. They're quite popular in the industry. Java is also used to write software tools like IDs like Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, NetBeans are desktop applications that are written using Java. And many developers use these IDs to build software applications. These IDs has, have amazing interface, which is good enough to prove the capabilities of Java features like JavaFX and Swing. Next, we have enterprise applications. So Java is a popular programming language easy to learn and first choice when it comes to building enterprise applications and it has major share of enterprise computers running on Java. Java also has vast options of libraries for assisting developers with the most common issues that might occur when building the applications. To an enterprise, it's really good to have a choice since it would help them get a better deal with respect to price. And many of these libraries are available open source free or free. Java also offers Java Enterprise Edition, which comes with features for running enterprise software that suits the large enterprise applications and major ERP systems and CRM systems used by large corporations are built using Java. Now let's talk about some of the popular Java frameworks. Now what are, what is a framework? So frameworks are tool that makes developers life easy by reducing a lot of boilerplate code. So following are some of the most popular Java frameworks, which are being used by Java developers worldwide. So you have spring framework, which is Java based framework to design web based applications. You have play framework. It's an open source Java frameworks which follows MVC pattern, model view controller pattern, and it helps you build scalable Java applications. You have struts, which is an open source Java based web framework again for developing web applications. You have hibernate, which is Java based framework, which enables you as a developer to map Java objects to relational databases. And you also have grails framework, which is an open source web application framework which is intended to follow the coding by convention paradigm. So, so these are some of the frameworks that uh, Java offers. So that's about this video guys. Lastly, I would like to talk about how can you start building your career with Java. So you can start learning core Java and start your programming career by practicing and writing some Java code. You should build small Java projects, which will help you get started, boost your confidence. 
Once you're comfortable writing Java programs, you can start doing small projects and getting certified would be an obvious next step. So certification would also add credibility to your profile and help you get job really, really fast. So that's about uh, this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it valuable. I shall see you guys soon. Thank you.